أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له هو تولى الصالحين وأشهد أن محمدا عبد ورسول الصادق الوعد الأمين اللهم صل وسلم وزد وبارك على هذا النبي المبارك وعلى آله وأصحابه وأتباعه إلى يوم الدين اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما يا رب العالمين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار اللهم تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم اللهم اللهم نور قلوبنا بأنوار معرفتك ومحبتك وخشيتك وذكرك يا رب العالمين اللهم ارزقنا الصدق والإخلاص واليقين وأخلاق الصالحين اللهم ارزقنا الشوق إليك والأنس بك واجعل قرة العين في الصلاة يا رب العالمين اللهم احفظنا واحفظ الإسلام والمسلمين وبارك فيهم في هذه البلاد وفي كل مكان يا رب العالمين اللهم اشفنا واشف مرضانا وجميع مرضى المسلمين وارحم موتانا وجميع موتى المسلمين وارحمنا إذا ناصرنا إليهم يا رب العالمين واجمعنا بهم عندك في جنة الفردوس واجعلنا جميعا من أهل حضرتك أهل النظر والشهود إلى وجهك الكريم يا رب العالمين آمين يا أرحم الراحمين أما بعد Dear believers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Sabbahakum Allah bil khayr. Tibitum wa taba mamshakum wa tabawakum min al-jannati manzila. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our good deeds and our salah, our dhikr and forgive our sins. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. Today we're going to speak about one of the topics uh, Islam consider it a serious topic and encourage people to practice it and it is part of ibadah part of daily activity in the muslim uh, spiritual life and physical life uh, which is hygiene personal and public hygiene when we speak islam what rules of islam means it's ibadah, and when you practice that, you receive reward, tawab, wa ajr from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you violate that, means you make something wrong. Violate sunnah, violate Quran, violate sharia, means uh, sin, them. Islam is a complete way of life which deals extensively on both the spiritual and the physical health spiritual and physical health Islam is referred to as the religion of cleaning religion of tahara nadafa purification cleaning subhanallah health and hygiene occupy a great part of Islam attention as Muslim is required to be clean when he performing daily prayers. He cannot make salah without wudu. Wudu five times every day. You wash uh, hand and till arm and face and feet. You know. And before that, if the person is junub or you know has this major sin, should take shower. And Juma, it's from Sunnah to make shower. Yani it is something. Uh, custom and habit, religion custom and habit. Every day, almost every day, Muslim يعني, do these activities, at least we do. So, which include properly cleaning oneself after using the toilet and practicing ablution. طبعاً, toilet has rules in Islam when you come in, come out, using how to use the toilet, how you sit down on the uh, seat and how you clean yourself all that sunnah clear and that and it's very very benefit to learn it and practice that that protect you know the world now face this problem 
May Allah protect all. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. We learn it from specialists that the, the, the main, one of the reasons on cleaning, on cleaning in food, in personal, or that, that stuff dirty that produce and encourage these viruses to spread around the world and we see now how these crises may Allah protect all Ameen Ya Rabbi in some cases a full body bath is obligation such as after spouses intimacy in Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say indeed meaning in English indeed Allah loves the patient uh, the patent and he loves those who keep clean Tawabin wal mutatahirin who exercise tawbah, tawbah, turn Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and keep clean, keep clean. This ayah in Surah Al-Baqarah. Uh, so cleaning is part and parcel of faith. Juz la yatajazza min al-iman. Al-tahara wa al-nadhafa. Juz la yatajazza min al-iman. It's part and parcel of faith. So the Muslim nadif, Muslim is clean. The Muslim is clean, good smell, good, you know, uh, clothing, and everything. Mazhar wal makhbar, outside and inside, eternal and external. Now, Abu Malik al Ash'ari, radiallahu anhu, reported that Rasulullah said, uh, Purity is half of Iman. Purity is a half of Iman. Purity, purification means. Physical and spiritual, and the heart and body is part of Iman, part of Iman. Tooth brushing, one of the activity, we do it yani before Salah, uh, use this miswak, this Sunnah of Rasul alayhi salatu was salam. This, used to do that, before miswak, before uh, Salah. Uh, before uh, khutbah, before uh, recite Quran, before any ibadah, uh, uh, before coming in the house, even in the house, before going inside the house, you use that as well. Okay? Why? Because he may kiss his wife, uh, hug his wife, children, so they not smell something bad from him, so, and teach the ummah for that. Aisha radiallahu anha reported that Rasulullah said this miswak or the miswak cleanses and purifies the mouth and pleases the Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah loves that. The person used miswak. Now, Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu reported that Rasulullah said were it not that I might overburden my followers I would have commanded them to use the miswak before Every prayer, every prayer, the Sunnah Mu'akkadah, Sunnah Mu'akkadah, we should do that, Al-Bukhari and Muslim. Personal hygiene is a human nature. In general, Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu reported that, Rasulullah five practices are of the fitrah, five activities from the fitrah. Fitrah means origin. Uh, creation of mankind. Each mankind, every mankind should exercise that. Muslim and non-Muslim should do that because this is uh, public and personal hygiene of the health. Uh, number one, circumcision, taha al khitan, shaving the public or, uh, region, and that taha al khitan, circumcision. 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 This is a silly word. <laughs> 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 anyway, uh, for boys is obligation. It's obligation for a for boys to do that. Sunnah of Nabi Alayhi Salatu Wasalam. Shaving the public region. Shaving. Pubic. 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 Which is, you know, uh, and this is Sunnah, this Sunnah about that, that shouldn't exceed 40 days. 
40 days to shave yourself from inside, remove the hair from inside, shouldn't exceed 40 days. Sunnah, not exceed 40 days. 40 and, and less, okay. But more than 40, that violates for a Sunnah of Rasul, alayhi salatu wasalam. Taban, both a gender. Uh, clipping the nails, clipping the nails, and cutting the mustaches short. Al-Bukhari and Muslim. So these five activities from Fitra and from uh, Sunnah al-Islam and Fitra al-Bashar, the, the nature of humanity should exercise that all. Self-cleaning in bathroom, cleaning of their genitals with water or other cleanings and materials after passing urine uh, and others uh, are part of the Islamic customs. Similarly, Muslims uh, on an interval are enjoined to clip their nails and to shave their hair and we mentioned that. Five rituals on Muslims best day. Best day weekly is Jumu'ah. There is activity among that you have to purify, clean ourselves. Subhanallah. Abu Dhar al-Ghafari radiallahu anhu reported that Rasulullah said, whoever takes a bath on a Friday, Jumu'ah, before Jumu'ah, and does it well, and purifies himself and does it well, and puts on his best clothes, and puts on uh, wherever, whatever Allah's decrees for him of the perfume of his family, then comes to the mosque and does not engage in idle talk or separate two persons in pushing between them, he will be forgiven for sins between that day and the previous Friday. Allahu Akbar. Subhanallah. Simple activity and the benefit for the person, benefit for the public, and receive reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, be strong and help. Islam encourage believer, Muslim, to be strong, physically, spiritual, and health. Let's see that. Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu narrated that Rasulullah said, A strong believer is better than, dearer to Allah than a weak one. Strong and weak means يعني, strong in everything. Your knowledge, your iman, your faith, practice iman, practice faith, uh, your body, physical body, practice, you know, kind of uh, sport or, you know, do something to empower the uh, person life physically and uh, spiritually. And both are good. يعني مش معناه ان واحد يعني هيخش الجنة والتاني لا لا يعني هي صلى الله عليه وسلم both the weak and the strong are good but the stronger is better and higher than the weak uh, person in Iman طيب let's go now to the public health public hygiene and cleaning environment and so on Mu'adh ibn Jabal رضي الله عنه reported رسول الله عليه warned he were of the three acts within public that cause you to be cursed curse relieving yourselves in shaded places relief means to urine to practice nature in in public in shed places shade. or shade shade because there is no sun the sun kill the germs and bacteria and so on but there is no sun means this bacteria the germs grow, grow and spray subhanallah sunnah salam don't do that in public so the ulama the ulama fuqaha mazahib ba'dhum said some of them said whoever practice that that activity the judge in the court shouldn't accept his witnesses <laughs> yes, because this is yeah, against uh, 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 normal uh, character of the human. These animals do that. <laughs> right? These animals do that. But human should satra, cover, lace, cover aura, cover. No? Subhanallah. And people use the, uh, use the shaded area to 
because of our understanding as well. So it's, mm -hmm. it's uh, for, for use. For use? Yes. Mm -hmm. shade. So number one, don't do that in shade or shaded places. Uh, in a walkway, the way, route, or in a watering place where people use the water do you urine or do something in the water you use the water that you know damage the public health now Allahu Akbar Abu Dhar al-Ghafari radiyallahu anhu reported as salam said removing harmful things from the road is an act of charity remove you know rocks uh, stones uh, some Something harm people on the road, on the way, removing that, this is sadaqah. This is kind of sadaqah and charity. Let's, we have two points. Uh, for the infection, public or, you know, spreading uh, infection, contagious, and control that from Islamic view. Islamic view. Uh, infection, control, in Islam, including including isolation and quarantine, quarantine. Al Rasul salam put strategies that are today implemented by public health authorities. Rasul salam said that 14 centuries ago, 14 centuries ago, what he said, Rasul salam, he commanded his followers not to travel to place known to be afflicted with the illness. Yeah, we are here, alhamdulillah, nothing happened. Till now, such a place has specific, you know, Korea. disease. The coronavirus. Any, corona or any, any. But we have a current case now in the world, coronavirus. So don't travel to that place. And that command, it's not option. It's not option, obligation. Don't go there. That only, no, listen. And advised those who in the, inside this area, this country, this area, stay in, don't come out from it. Number one, that control, spreading the disease help authorities to control because moving and traveling that spread the disease easy subhanallah yeah, and now these cases people come to america and come to italy come to iran come here and how that and however the authorities take very very strong cautions and uh, you know uh, yeah, and take strong uh, cautions about that but the person can carry can carry the virus, but there is no any indications on him or her. It could stay like two weeks to appear. Right, doctor? Two weeks? Maybe more. Maybe more, two weeks. So, he come in, it's okay. He come inside the country without any indications, he's healthy, perfect. And after two weeks, appear. Not only that, he comes like Salat al Jumu'ah, we have like 200 or more or less, all of them take from it bread and take the virus and back to their families, their business. So it is very, very dangerous. So a Sunnah Nabawiyah, alayhi salatu wasalam, don't move, don't travel in or out. طيب. However, this is a very important point, which is, this is, لا عدوى. لا عدوى means no infection. No infection. We, we, uh, we, the, the ilm, the knowledge, and science approve that. How that? How that? La adwa by itself. It's by Allah. It's by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, because here it's spiritual meaning. When I transfer and move the mind and the heart from the impact of the disease itself by itself, we get impact by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Get influenced by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So don't believe that the virus by itself, the virus by itself, bacteria by itself, this by itself. No, there is power, al-qadr, 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 decree. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we wanna yani China for example a billion and something right but just few thousand people few thousand people why not all because qadar illa wa ta'ala for a specific place for specific people to get listen and they will learn from that learn from that but al aqidah the faith say qadar qadar means that everything by Allah disease by Allah infections by Allah everything happen in the world the globe seen unseen by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just take reasons to protect yourself but at the end the qadar illah will get ahead last point cleaning and halal food halal food you mentioned that the origin for that virus is haram food subhanallah right halal food so you baby halal food <laughs> ربنا جل وعلا قال يا أيها الذين آمنوا كلوا من طيبات ما رزقناكم طيبات ما رزقناكم واشكروا لله إن كنتم إياه تعبدون who believed eat from the good things which we have provided for you and be grateful to Allah if it is indeed him that you worship سبحانه وتعالى شوف طيبات واشكروا طيبات واشكر طيبات حلال طيب good pure clean and thank Allah be grateful to Allah that he gave us that you see haram haram food pork ham that stuff what's happened with people who survive that disease and and how even psychological uh, disease psychological behaviors come from the animals to the human beings subhanallah that's why, for example, the lion is haram. You eat the lion and tiger and all this. Because the, the manners of lion, the manner of tiger, <laughs> if you eat from these animals, you, you're embedded by the manners, even, subhanAllah. SubhanAllah al Naam. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala barakah and protection for all. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. Wa salli allahumma wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'ina wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.